All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the song is Who's That Man? Uh, this is coming from the artist Toby Keith. Let's jump into it. Uh, also, the lyrics are pulled up just in case we need them, guys. The hotel, thank you. This boulevard must you will. It hasn't changed since I've been gone. Ah, oh, this used to be my way home. They paved the road through the neighborhood. I guess the county finally fixed it good. It was getting rough. Someone finally complained enough. Tears back with their smile Stop and look for a little while Oh, it's plain to see The only thing missing is me Cause that's my house and that's my car That's my All right, guys. Um, all right, so we definitely have a young Toby Keith here. Uh, this song is obviously about the separation of um, of two contractually married people. Right? Um, well, it's interesting that I mean, for me personally, I'm I'm someone that would generally tell someone that you probably shouldn't get married, specifically if you're a man. Um, there's really nothing in that contract for you, right? Um, unfortunately, I mean, until I would say until the the contract changes. How about this? If you love someone and you want to get married to this person, if, if they if they actually have like traditional values, then go for it because they're most likely not going to divorce over this, the, the simplest, smallest thing, right? Um, that's kind of what I would generally suggest, right? I mean, or, or try a culture of, of, uh, of people that generally are not, are just absolutely against the concept of divorce. And maybe that could work also, right? I'm just trying to, or just come up with some type of like marriage license renewal system or something, right? Uh, and get rid of no fault divorces. Um, like there's a lot, there's a lot of issues <laughs> like, like revolving around the concept of marriage, specifically in the Western world, right? Um, so yeah, if you're a guy, I definitely wouldn't suggest that, um, at all, not, not, no, mm -mm. um, until the contract changes, at least. I mean, if you, you can absolutely love someone and be in, in love with them, just don't sign that contract, bro. All right. Bro to bro. <laughs> don't sign that contract. I just gonna run in my life. Calls a scene. Yes. Hey, they're not really expecting me. Those kids have been through hell. I hear they've adjusted well. And it's such a shame. Most likely, they, the kids are going to be held against, you know, him, right? Um, and the chances of him, like, why doesn't he have his kids? That'll be a good question. Um, why he doesn't have his kids? I understand thirteen percent of uh, of men uh, win in, in these instances, but like, bro, why don't you have your kids? Get your kids, bro. Turn around in the neighbor's drive. I'd be hard to recognize in his pickup truck. It's just an old fixer.
the man could be a couple of people. Most likely, it's the government, right? Um, because that's that contract, bro. Um, this song is like the anthem for like uh, divorced men that were just shafted by the the divorce system, right? Um, wow. Now here's the thing. So the song itself is is very good. I think um, like sonically, it's it's amazing, right? I mean, how it was arranged is very good. Uh, this is going to be the fourth or fifth time we're encountering Toby Keith, and this is. Uh, uh, definitely like probably one of my favorite ones from him um, no complaints guys not at all it's like the literally the divorce dad anthem who's that man running in my life guys not a single complaint at all um super unique right i don't think i've ever heard anything like this um i like the fact that he's talking about something like this something that generally isn't um you know sung about in songs or at least songs that i've encountered um there are a lot of issues when it comes to this very specific topic and um you can easily research a lot of this and realize that um you know Things are getting a little crazy nowadays, specifically in 2022, regarding uh, the concept of marriage. Like, um, like it's just wild, guys, because like I'm married and um, I don't have any issues because I just don't have any issues, right? But um, there are a lot of people that are, that are going through this, right? I mean, luckily I was able to find a, um, a woman who was absolutely traditional. So she's, so, so the concept of divorce is gonna never happen, right? Um, but, there are a lot of people that are <laughs> that are that are stuck in that that concept, and unfortunately, again, the contract really is there's, there's nothing in it, right, um, for men at all. Not in 2022, guys. There's nothing in it for you. Um, you you have all the responsibilities of the household while, uh, um, you know, obviously maintaining your very specific traditional role, while the other party has no traditional values at all. Um, and then you sign a contract and then they're probably going to leave because percentages are, are extremely high that men are not the ones, um, you know, filing for divorces at all. 70 to 90 percent is, is wild. Right. So um, if the government is giving incentives for people to basically destroy families and, um, and separate, right take the incentives because again for the guy is really nothing in it for the for the man at all except the loss of their kids seeing their kids um child support and alimony so bad contract guys um, i got married in spain though so i'm not really that's not a contract that i'm involved in um but either way you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and let me know um what i should be listening to next from him guys